This is Tile Cities. Uh, I've got very little time today, and so I wasn't able to jump into a game that was more complex than this, but that's fine. This game actually has something pretty interesting going for it, which is that it doesn't have a tutorial. <laughs> so it's a puzzle game where you're placing tiles that represent city blocks, um, and you can only line them up when they have contiguous streets. And you can lose this game, and I've learned, because I played it once, once and a half times, uh, you can lose this game, and the way you lose is you fill up those uh, blocks at the bottom of the screen. How do you fill up the blocks at the bottom of the screen? That is for the player to figure out. So I, I, I've been having this experience with a couple of games lately because there's several like you no know, demos that, uh, that that came out uh, because this is sort of non E3 season. Um, Beneath Oresa was was one particular game that I did this with, where you know the game had a lot of complexity to it, and they did actually explain things pretty clearly but it was so much complexity that i was like it, it kind of washed over me i wasn't able to absorb it all but over time by just experimenting with the mechanics i was able to figure out how the game worked and this game i believe has got similar potential um where you know it doesn't have a tutorial it just drops you here like i started the game and this is the screen i had it starts the game out with just hey hey here's the controls go nuts and then it's up to you to figure out what to do. So I'm gonna place I'm gonna place a piece right there. And let's hide the hotkeys. Okay, so what happened? I placed this piece and I got a little brown pip and a white pip. Is that a white pip? It might be slightly greenish actually. Um I'll call it a green pip. Okay, so I got a couple of pips. That's cool. Let me okay, so if I place this one right here, a bunch of pips are gonna appear. So let's here, let me Oh, but look at this. If I place it here, I get a bunch of, I get four pips added. If I place it here, I only get two pips added. So what does that mean? I think what that means, and so that I don't fully, I have not fully figured this game out yet, but what I think that means is, I think each of these blocks, each of these tiles wants to be connected to a blue building, a purple building, an orange building, and a green park. And they want to be adjacent to those things. And so when I place this one here, it says, look, I'm not adjacent to anything. And so I've got a blue pip, an orange pip, a purple pip, and a green pip. All of them saying I'm missing something. But if I put it down here next to the purple and blue tile, it doesn't get purple and blue pips because it's satisfied. And it says that little, like, has little dots on it saying, hey, look, I, ha I have a need for a blue and a need for a purple, but those needs are satisfied if you place me. So I'm going to place it here. And now I've got an orange one. So if I place the orange one here, it will satisfy this one uh, spot. And meanwhile, it itself will be satisfied on the blue and purple side. So it's nice because it, it, placing it in one of these spots is good because I reduce the orange by one. And I, and I don't increase the purple and the blue because it's getting satisfied as purple and blue. It's just green that's rising. If I put it up here... I would satisfy orange over here, but I would not satisfy the purple and blue on this piece. Because I've put a bunch of diagonals everywhere, I've kind of screwed myself over a little bit. This is hard to place things on. But, so if I place this one here, we avoid making the orange or blue or purple situation any worse. Here, I actually make the orange situation better, but the blue and the purple situation gets worse. So I think I'm going to put this here. And now we've got a new purple. But everything we have so far already abuts a purple tile. So I don't think there's any particularly good place to put this. Wherever I put it, at the most, I'm going to get an orange dot on this. So that's the best I can do. So I'll do that there. So now I've got this red line. I'm not sure what the red lines are for. Uh, I think it's possible to connect things to each other via the red lines. So I've I've tried that before. If I put this here, there's no there's no way I can put it next to a blue. So I'm going to put it here. So at least it's connecting to an orange and a purple. And now we have this one. Notice that the diag these diagonals all have different angles and I can't connect them to each other. This is unfortunate. <laughs> this is a bad thing. Um so I could put this here connected to nothing. Here, it's at least a little bit better because it's connected to a purple. But this is a big expensive piece because it doesn't offer anything itself. It only sucks stuff. So I'm going to put it here. <gasps> we have got our first park. 
Okay, cool. So what I want to do is connect this to as many different places as possible, because when I connect it, it satisfies the green. That green line that's getting much longer goes down when I connect this. Thing is, I think I can only connect it. Oh, here we go. I can connect it to three at once if I put it here. That's the best move. So I'm going to put that right there. By the way, I am not keeping up with the chat. Hello, everybody. We got Ranathcord, No on my uh, JP McMoose, Zedric, Coalition Gordu. It's got a bunch of folks in here. It's good to have you all. Okay, so right here, I've got the red line connecting to a building. I think, from experience, I believe what that does is it puts a um, like a like a, a bus or like a subway car on the map. So there doesn't seem to be a, like the only place I can stick this where it actually doesn't just incur all the pips is right here, but that runs the um, bus into a dead end. That feels bad. I don't know if it matters, but it feels bad. So I'm going to put it here, even though that's expensive. But now I've got a blue and a purple. So this one right here is not connected to blue, but it is connected to purple. These, this is probably the best spot because this one is, is not connected to anything, and this one is only connected to purple. And if I rotate it like this, I can continue the red line. And you can see there's a little dot moving along the red line. Not sure what that dot does. Doesn't I mean, it certainly doesn't seem to mess with my victory conditions at all, as far as I can tell. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. Okay, regardless of the fact that this is not helping anything, because the thing I'm connecting to is already connected to orange and purple. So adding this does nothing. All it does is, I mean, it it itself doesn't need orange or purple. So it's just only blue and green go up. It doesn't matter. The fact that this is the same angle as the other one means that I have to place it there. <laughs> because the chances of me getting that same angle again are pretty slim. Okay, so this is one that would benefit from me sticking it across the street. So hey, look at this. Why does it say, why does it have two orange dots and two purple dots? What does that mean? How is that? How could it be connected? Is it connecting? Is it because of the red line? Okay, let, let me put this over here. Okay, so I only, if I put this here, I only get one orange dot and one purple dot. But if I put it here, I get two. This boggles my mind. I don't know how one block could benefit from being connected to orange twice. Could it have something to do with the fact that I'm lining up the red line here? Could it be getting like a, a purp another purple and an orange from, from the line? Maybe? Oh, yeah. Let me try that, Ranath. Let me rotate it. Okay, so it doesn't matter if its own red line is overlapping the red line. It has the same benefit either way. What happens if, if I put it here? I get two blues and two purples. But not if I don't connect the line. That's so odd. So what this means is it's eliminating... It, it's satisfying its own orange pip, and it's eliminating an additional orange pip. I don't know why that happens. It doesn't do it here. It just connects to the one orange. I mean, it's clearly a good move, but I don't know why it's a good move. Similarly, this one, it's doubling up. If I put it here, but not doubling up if I put it there. Why? Why? Could it just be that this red line doubles the benefits of whatever I get across the red line? Could that be it? Like if the red line is already there, then I get double benefits from placing next to it. But if it's not already there, I don't get any double benefits. Yeah, La Coalition is, is signing mm -hmm. on to that guess. Okay, does this line up with any of my... I, no, it's it's got the same angle as this. Okay, so, but my green is still really high. So if I can connect this to multiple places that need green to be, this would be good, but the line, 
I don't know if there's any benefit for me making sure this line continues, but I want to. So, so I could attach this to three, but I think I won't. I think I'll try to make the line continue and I'll attach it to two. Ah, so this isn't adjacent to anything, but if I put it here, it opens up so more, so many more options for moving stuff around. Like, oh man, this, this would be a catastrophe. This would just open an eternal hole in my blocks. I can't do that. I'm going to put this here, even though it's not the best move. Um, okay. So if crossing the line is the thing that will increase the benefits, I'm wondering if I should just consciously put lines on the outside. so that other things can later connect to them. Or if I should just ignore the lines and just play stuff wherever I want. Um, where is there... Do I have any... I don't think I have any spots that actually don't aren't connected to purple somehow. Purple is really nicely well distributed. So actually... Yeah. This is like the only one that doesn't have purple on it. So... Maybe I should... Yeah, I'll just do this here. And then we've got, okay, so this could fit here and give orange to that. But it'll incur some blue problems. Um, but again, it'll have an exposed line. So that seems good. Ooh, big fat park. Uh, I could connect it to two like that. Might be my best move. Stick that right there. Okay, and then this guy. Okay, so here, I'm placing it across a line, but it's not getting doubled. Oh, but this line is faded out because it's not connected to the station. Okay, so the red line is valuable because I think it doubles the benefits of placing things, except it has to be connected to the station to function. That's got to be what it is. I think that's what it is. Well, in that case, oh, let's place it here. My blue situation is getting bad, though. I, I, I do need to worry about blue. Um, again, I've got purple here, which is already well distributed. Don't really need a bunch of purple. I guess, I don't know, should I stick it somewhere where it's easy to have it share benefits with something else? I guess I'll stick it there um, for no reason. Um, okay. Okay. I think I need to connect this line. I want to connect this line. I think I don't get the benefit of the line yet. But now that line is solid. And now I've just got a big empty block. Oh, but look at this. I do double the impact of the purple and the orange by putting it across that line. My blue is getting out of control. I only have the one blue building. I don't know what... Oh, no, the two blue buildings. I don't know what it expects me to do. I'll put... The problem is, if I put that there, there really is only one piece that will fit down here. It's just another triangle piece below it, but whatever. Um, oh, we've got a blue. we got a blue. So we can maximize our blue impact by sticking this here, probably. That's two that need blue. Or is there a place where I can place it where there are three that need blue? I don't think so. Parks don't need anything, by the way. I, I don't think the parks need anything. I think they only provide a benefit. They don't consume a benefit. Yeah, I think I think this is the place. Uh, okay, this size of triangle. I don't think I've got a spot where this finishes something. I could put that there. I could put it there. I do like the idea of continuing the line. So let's let's do this. Ooh, another blue. Oh, and it's a triangular blue. Where could that belong? So these don't need blue. These guys need blue. But it's hard to... Oh, actually, this guy... Oh, I mean, this guy can never get blue. I've closed these two pieces off from ever getting blue. So that's the kind of thing I need to be on the lookout for when I'm playing this game. Is is it? Am I making a choice that is cutting off future choices? So I'm just trying to think. 
this doesn't benefit anything. That sort of does. Yeah, I think putting it over here is probably my best. Vaguely over here in this direction is probably my best choice. Maybe there? Again, I like the way it makes the line look. Now I've got an orange. Okay, we're missing orange down here. But, I, oh, I could do that. That will help orange in two places. Orange is just not where I need things, though. Whatever, mm -hmm. we'll do that. And then this one's got another line. I can put orange down here. I could also, okay, orange isn't needed up here. Orange is not needed over here, not really. I guess this one could, oh, this one could benefit from orange. Oh, and double oh, and double on blue. Double on blue is really important. And that because my blue is out of control. So this one. Oh yeah, so these guys two of these need this. Oh, oh hey, I can cross the line and eliminate this is where I got to stick this because I'm getting the doubled up green right there. So, uh, La, Co uh, La Coalition says, uh, I thought, oh, I thought Mexico had ugly city design. Uh, you cannot beat the United States for weird, ugly city design. <laughs> okay, so that one's missing a park. I don't think I can place this one. Oh, no, these are both missing parks, but I'd be cutting off the line. So I'm going to be weird and just place it where one park is needed. Aha, I'm glad I did that. Now I can complete the line. Suddenly, I have all the parks in the world. Who's missing a park? You're missing a park, but I kind of want a line to go this way. Oh, this guy's missing a park. Stick a park down there. Um, now, what is missing? What is missing blue? These guys are not missing blue. This guy. This guy's missing blue. Ooh, I can connect this up. Oh, that's beautiful. I think that's probably the best move. Yep. And another park. Okay, who is not connected to a park? This guy's got a park. That guy doesn't have a park that has no space. That guy doesn't have a park. That guy doesn't have a park, and that continues the line. Let's do that. Um, who's missing out on blue now? Anybody? I wonder if maybe nobody's missing out on blue all of a sudden. That's weird. While blue is like my biggest problem. Oh, I like this. I can double up on the park by putting this here. So let's do that. I can also probably double up on blue for somebody in the future. Ooh, do I have this angle anywhere? I have it there. I can double up on parks. I don't think I need to place a blue anywhere. Being careful with my blues. So yeah, I think this is probably the best spot. <laughs> The Coalition says, I want to bet <laughs> when, when I was talking about the fact that I thought the United States had unusually ugly city design. It's just that we've got what we've got is just suburban sprawl where like everything is built for cars, which means the roads are really wide, um, you know, and things are really separated from each other. You don't really get that sort of the pleasant urbanness that you can get from a lot of. Ooh, that seems really valuable. That you can get from a lot of, you know, mm -hmm. like kind of older cities in places like like Europe. I have no idea what city design is like in Mexico, so I couldn't possibly comment on that. But um, I've just read so many books about city design and, you know, how terrible suburban sprawl is. And I kind of agree with it. I would love to live in a more walkable area. Like our, my neighborhood doesn't have like it's got some sidewalks, but it doesn't have comprehensive access to sidewalks, which is a serious mm -hmm. problem. Um, for us, like, trying to get around and, like, let our kids walk places, that sort of thing. Ugh. Okay. So, it'd be nice if I could connect this to two different colors. Oh, that could work. Blue and green. And then I can stick some orange and purple on the other side of it. Yeah, let's do that. Um. All right. The, so the thing is, this this game can be played for a long time. <laughs> um, 
like my first my first session of this game was not very long because I didn't know what I was doing. And I just, you know, I, I wasn't placing things in a calculated way. Once you actually kind of know what you're supposed to be doing in this game, you can, you can make it last a while. So I guess, I mean, this is probably smart. And then that one does need, this one needs park access. Let's give this one park access. And then I can double up my oranges by putting this here. There's one orange there, one blue. So it's the red line is interesting. Now I, I had never understood the red line until this session, but it's interesting because you want you want to keep it connected. So lining it up in, in existing places is valuable, so you can connect everything and, and make it actually functional. But also you want it on the outside because if you put it like if you just sandwich a line on the inside between two tiles, it becomes useless. It's only useful when it's on the outside surface. So I'm gonna, I think I liked this spot. Let's do that. And then, oh, this would have been better. Oh, oh fine. Um, oh, it's weird when I, I wish I could flip them. That's fine. Um, so does this, where does this fit? Nowhere, it fits nowhere. Ah, okay, kind of there. And these two do both need orange, so that's good. And it has two outlets for the line, so that's also good. Uh, not great. I'm going to get another one that doesn't offer any of the fancy buildings. So I want to put it... Oh, here. Here's a good spot. And then this boy... Zedric says my neighbor had, had has no sidewalks. And Coalition says um, our capital city in Mexico is literally sinking because some Aztec guy thought it was a, it was genius to build a city on top of a lake. And then some Spaniard took over and was like, neat idea, and continued over it. <laughs> yeah, that is that's, the, the history of... I mean, the thing is, it was a smart idea when you were trying to build a defensible city back when it was on an island in the middle of a lake. like And, and you know, and you wanted to have a lot of, like, really um, sort of, you know lush farmland around you watered by the lake it was actually it was really clever when you were building Tenochtitlan it's not it isn't as clever now that it's Mexico City um but yeah no I, I see your point um okay so this one I can see it there I guess why not um I put that there that would s keep silo this one off from any parks though that kind of works it does sort of cut off this red line though so maybe that was a bad move um i don't know where anything goes okay that just matches nicely so ooh, is this what can i do with this i mean that's kind of interesting right Part of the fun of this is kind of imagining what this city would actually be like to live in. That's really strange. I'm doing it anyway. Ah, this could go here. Or, yeah, I think, I think that's, that's okay. And then this goes here. And then... kind of thinking I want to continue this line over here so that will help with that oh dang if this was flipped totally would have worked are there any places where this oh like right there that's good except you want the line on the outside Jeffrey you want the line on the outside so we are start I'm being a little bit less careful now just because you know whatever we're running out of time In fact, yeah, I do have a meeting to get to pretty soon, so maybe I should wrap this up now. Mm. It would take a while to actually get to the point where... I mean, I guess I'm not that far off right now. I have made a lot of sort of, you know, uncareful placements that have sort of built up my score here. So eventually, 
uh, you know, I'll, one of these will, will top out and we'll record my score. And there you go. That will be how I did. But there you go. That's Tile Cities. So, uh, if you know, if you're looking for just sort of an interesting, idle little, you know, uh, placement game like this, where it's just sort of about geometry and you can like kind of use your brain for other things while you're thinking about the geometry of this of, of this game. It's it, it's kind of a fun it, it's a fun thing to sort of have in my arsenal of uh, of, of potential sources of entertainment. Uh, but that's kind of all the time I have, so I should probably get out of here. Um, yep, yeah, that's what we'll do. So, see you later. Uh, I'm going to head out to my meeting, and uh, hopefully you can subscribe to my channel or click on some videos, and that will be cool.